Many saw it coming when Rabbi Ovadia Yosef, the spiritual leader of the Sfaradi ultra-Orthodox Shas party, passed away, voices were heard claiming the party was about to lose its way, and the past week proved that these voices were probably correct. It started with the breakup of the party leadership, as did long-standing rivalry between frontrunner Eli Shai and the party chairman Arya Derry finally prompted Shai to leave his deep-rooted political home and found a new party. But then the bombshell dropped. A 2008 video surfaced this week in which Yosef expresses support for Ishai while voicing concern about Derry. If we put him at the head of our electoral list, 30 to 40 percent will leave us. Why? Because he was judged in court. Why take someone who's a thief? Why take someone who accepts bribes? Why should we do this? No one has anything on Yishai. Camp Derry immediately lashed out at Yishai, blaming him for leaking the tape and getting the children of the late Rabbi Ovadia Yosef to join in their ambush. Eli Yishai is shameless. He was dismissed by my father in disgrace. And now he is using any means possible to save his own life. Following the devastating chain of events, Derry decided to resign from his position despite the fact that the party's Council of Torah Sages has vetoed his request to quit. We are full of appreciation over the manner in which he is managing the party. We stand behind him firmly and decree that he remain in his post. In the meantime, the state of the veteran party in the polls has been affected by the public bickering. And according to the latest one commissioned by the Knesset channel, the Shas party will receive only five seats, one more than from previous poll before the tape was published, but still much weaker than in the past. While Ishai's new party doesn't even have enough votes to enter parliament.